Hey, it's Lauren here with the new Pavement Ends channel. This is just a channel for me to share my back road adventures and maybe a few other things too. Uh, I never really planned on doing any regular videos, but a few friends who know I live out in the woods have asked me, you know, what do you do all day? What's going on out there? Well, here's one of the many things I do. Uh, I fix up my Forerunner for some solo camping off in the back country. And right now, as we speak, I'm setting out to do exactly that uh, for the next few days. Uh, some people call this overlanding. Well, I've always just called it car hiking. I had an old uh, 78 Toyota pickup back in the day, back in the 80s. Uh, had a shell, an air mattress, a few basic supplies. You know, nowadays it's the cushy forerunner and a thick foam bed. I'm not gonna try to pretend I know everything about everything, because I don't. Uh, it's just my intention to share some adventures. So I hope you guys like these little random snippets and you'll join me out here from time to time here on the back roads. Thanks a lot. Highway 3 has been my uh, one of my favorite roads of all time over the years. It's twisty and windy, it climbs rapidly, and you go over some pretty fantastic scenery.
shows up on the map here. But I don't think it's a viable crossing at this time of year. A lot of silt in there. And I don't have a winch on this thing. So I think this crossing is going to have to uh, be taken some other day. On a day when uh, conditions are better. Yeah, so uh, I rolled into this little spot. Oh, about uh, yeah, going on half an hour ago, maybe 45 minutes. And it's kind of hard to see much with uh, with only the the vehicle lights shining in our faces. But just some little back road, like maybe some kind of little logging road. So the plan is, I'm going to stay here for the night. Build a, maybe build a little fire. Everything's pretty wet and cold up here. It's, it's snowing right now. So we'll build a little fire. We'll get comfortable. But we'll get uh, settled in for the evening. I'll, I'll build, like I say, I'll build this little fire. And then I'm going to go head out again tomorrow. And in the morning I'll update the location and, and uh, maybe we'll look at this campsite in a little more detail. All right, I'll see you around the fire. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use a Duraflame to get things started. Uh, I brought some wood. It's kind of late. I brought, uh, I usually pack up two or three Duraflames and some dry wood uh, to get things started if, you know, depending on what supplies are around. But I'm going to put one of these uh, new lighters to work. I like these kind. They, they produce a kind of a jet flame. Wind resistant. I'm in major cheat mode tonight. Duraflame, gas lighters, I mean, car camping. If I'm going to go car camping, I might as well cheat with the fire. Well, our cheater fire is kind of slow to take off. Added a few more materials and it's finally uh, producing a little heat. Uh, just in time, it's kind of stopped snowing. There's just a stray flake here and there. And I tried to get a little video of the moon, but um, it's not showing up very well. But there is a bright moon trying to peek through the clouds. But as for now, it's just a nice, relaxing time by the fire. Gives me a little time to contemplate.